This video is to explain how to calculate the median and the mode of a data set. I have this data here and say that I want to find the median of this data set. Well, remember the median is the middle uh, score where 50% of the uh, values are above it and 50% are below it. So to find the median, well, there's a couple different ways that I can do this. I want to show you uh, sort of the manual way to do it. The first thing I would do would be to highlight the data. And I'm going to sort this from uh, greatest to smallest. So up here is a command for sort and filter. And I'm going to sort this from largest to smallest. Okay, when I click on that, it automatically puts them in order from the largest at the top to the smallest at the bottom. Now, let's count how many uh, data points I have here. Uh, we're using our counting formula. I enter one in the first one, and then the second I hit equals, the one above it, plus one. Enter, and that tells me two. Now I can copy that formula down, and if I can get it to go, there we go. So I see that we have 13 values here, 13 data points, which means now that they're sorted, that the um, value number seven is the median. Okay. Right there, 32 is the median. Um, that's because there's six data points above it and six below. Whenever you have an odd number of data points, uh, you, you will just don't have to calculate anything. You have to just sort them and find the middle one. Now, uh, it's also possible for uh, Excel to find the median. So if I click on the data, uh, the cell below the data, and I go up here to FX, and make sure that I'm in statistical. Now, all these formulas are alphabetically oriented or uh, alphabetically um, in order. So I, I'll find the formula for median, hit OK. It's asking me, do I want from F2 to F14? I say yes, and there you go. Now, uh, the symbol for median is a capital M. So I could do that, move it over here to the right, and uh, we can do that either way. You can do that. Now, let's copy this, uh, excuse me, let's copy the data over. And now I'm going to uh, reduce the data by one so that we have 12. Now the issue is, is that. Um, we only have we have an even number of data points instead of an odd. So uh, if I copy this over here and paste it, we find that um, there is no middle uh, middle score, but the the median will be the average between the sixth score and the seventh score, which. So one way to do that would be to go equals um, this plus this. And I'm going to hit, put that in parentheses so that it'll do the addition first and then Clicking up here, I can just put a forward slash, which means divide by two. And it comes up with 34. Or once again, I could just click at the bottom, hit FX, uh, make sure I'm in statistical, come down here to median, hit OK, and OK again, and came up with the same answer. Capital M equals. The symbol for median is the same 
uh, whether it's a population or a sample. So the capital M is the same. Now, uh, let's find the mode. Well, in this data set, uh, there aren't any repeated numbers, but um, say that uh, this was a 41 instead of 42, then the mode, after you sort them, you just look for um, the uh, duplicates and find uh, the, uh, the largest number of duplicates, and that would be your mode. So you don't have to have a mode. If there's no duplicates, then there's just no mode. If uh, there was, uh, I'll change this uh, to say these last three to 25, okay, uh, then 25 would be the mode because there's more 25s than 41s. So this explains how to do a median and also the mode in Excel.